Hello, this is Bryant Myers, author of PMF, The Fifth Element of Health, and I'm really excited about this video. What we're looking at here is not an EKG of somebody's heartbeat. We're actually looking at the IMRS 2000 Sawtooth. And let me just point the camera over here so you can see the IMRS. We have it on the morning setting, and we're using a Roden Schwartz oscilloscope, and you can see a near field probe. And the near field probe is important because we want to get the signal in the field. And the MicMag handy in the background is making the field audible so you can hear it. So take a listen. Can you hear the, let me just bring it a little bit closer here. What you're hearing is seven pulses every like 2.7 seconds or so. And that's going to give you about, a, it's roughly a three hertz carrier on the, and it, within the bursts of those pulses. Now we're going to talk about the frequencies in the IMRS in a little bit. But you can tell just by, by, the, by the listening test that it is a low frequency. And some websites and review sites that say we use only higher frequencies, they just don't understand signal processing. So let's take it back here to the oscilloscope. And what I want to do is just kind of zoom in, just keep it a little more stable so you can see the overall pattern. Now, the, the sawtooth waveform is, is one of the most natural waveforms to use. Not only does your heart use it, but recent research and a really good study I, I was reading recently shows that the brain also uses a sawtooth waveform. And it's one of the most research proven waveforms. You know, going back all the way to the original PMF research with Bassett and non-union bone fractures, they found that the sawtooth was one of the most effective signals to, to stimulate healing and regeneration. And to really understand why, let's get into a little bit of signal processing, which is the science of, of analyzing and interpreting and even manipulating signals. Now, when you look at a signal, especially a PMF signal, you want to look at it with two eyes, I tell people. One eye is the oscilloscope, and that's going to show you the signal in the time domain. That's going to show you the shape of the signal. And what we want to see with a PMF device in the time domain or the oscilloscope is a rapid rise and fall signal. And we also want to look for a complex waveform that we're not going to just get habituated to. So for example, some companies just have a repeating square wave that just keeps repeating. You don't want to just have a repetitive waveform because the body will desensitize to that. And then you get habituation, acclimation, and diminishing returns. The other eye is in the frequency domain. And that's what, when you, what you see with the other eye is through a spectrum analyzer. And I'm going to do some videos in the future with a good spectrum analyzer, but just know for now that there was an, a really good independent study showing the IMRS along with the Beamer were the top two systems they looked at in Europe. And one of the reasons that they were the top two is they had a beautiful frequency spectrum. What that means is that if you broke this signal down that you're looking at into all the little sines and cosines which make it up, you would see this rich spectrum from the very low frequency all the way up to the kilohertz. And again, you need those higher frequencies and diminishing amplitudes to give you the sharp edges of this rapid rise and fall here. So the sawtooth, like I said, contains many frequencies and all your tissues and cells actually resonate to different frequencies as I've talked about in my, in many videos, mainly in the zero to 50 Hertz range. And also it's worth noting that you want a wide spectrum of frequencies because everybody's different. It's been shown that even the frequencies within the same person's liver, for example, the liver cells might resonate to different frequencies. So by offering a wide spectrum, it's kind of like taking a really good multivitamin with all the different vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, you know, hopefully from a natural organic source. But this, this is a really good metaphor because cheap PMF devices that have simplistic waveforms, as this Eastern European study showed, they have very limited amounts of frequencies in a, in a, from a spectrum analyzer point of view. And that means that they're not gonna resonate with as many cells and tissues in your body. So this is actually one of the main reasons the IMRS and the Beamer are the top two PMF devices in the world. And why, for example, the IMRS, we have a database of over 900 testimonials and we have 120 video testimonials and Beamer also has many testimonials to validate that a broad spectrum of frequencies gives the maximum amount of resonance and energy transfer for stimulating healing and regeneration because without resonance, the field can't interact with the human body. And one of the other reasons that the IMRS Beamer and even the QRS have such a great signal is they use what's called pulse pause modulation. And that's where you can, you can hear it in the background, right? Can you hear that? There's a pause in between those bundles. And after several bundles of those bundles, there's another longer pause. And this just keeps continuing. And then every two minutes, it switches polarity. And what that means, now I'm keeping this kind of on a still frame here, but if I, if I allowed it to flip upside down, I'd get all kinds of static because I have to change my trigger. But really, every, every two minutes, uh, this, this little signal should be flipping upside down. What's happening in between 
is the trigger's not hitting and it's keeping the last frame. But this is the signal, it's just turned upside down. But, but that change in polarity is really, really important so that again, it, it further prevents habituation and acclimation. So now the IMRS has four settings, a morning, noon, evening, and night. So, so they're listed at 15 hertz in the morning, 5.5 at noon, three in the evening, and 0.5 at night. And this is very much in tune with the natural rhythms of the brain and the body. So in conclusion, one of the reasons that the sawtooth is one of the best waveforms to use is number one, from the side of the oscilloscope or the eye of the oscilloscope, it's giving you a rapid rise and fall signal. And number two, on the other side from a spectrum analyzer, it's giving you a wide spectrum of frequencies. And this independent study done in Europe showed the IMRS and the Beamer by far had the best frequency spectrums. And that means you're getting all the frequencies all at once. You don't have to do this frequency for this, this frequency for that. It's just so much simpler and it's more effective. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel here and leave some comments or if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks again and have a great rest of your day.